there, everybody. Phil here from AndroidCentral.com, and a question we get a lot from newcomers is, what's a widget? How's that different than these other things on my home screen? So let's take a look at them here. Here we have the Evo 4G, and down at the bottom on the default home screen, we have icons. Up top here, we have a widget. So what's the difference? Um, an icon pretty much just launches an app, whereas a widget can do something or show you more information. Like the clock up here, you have weather, you have the date, the temperature, and of course, a big old clock. Whereas these things down at the bottom just launch apps. So here's more widgets. You have a favorites widget. You have uh, little switches because they look like switches and that's what they do. Tap the Bluetooth switch and it will turn Bluetooth on. And there you see the icon, so it's on. Tap it again, it'll turn it off. Not gonna sit here and wait for it, I don't think. So you also have switches for 4G, Wi-Fi, and GPS here, right? There's a big calendar widget. Very nice to have. There is the Google search widget, and you should get that on all phones, not just Sense phones. Um, this is a custom ROM, so some of the stuff isn't working right now, like the music music widget. Um, there you have some icons down at the bottom that are not working, but there's a bookmarks widget from Sense. And here we have a blank screen, so I want to actually load up uh, a widget here and show you how to do that in a second. But first, so there's your, uh, your clock widget, right? And there's a voicemail widget. Now say I want to move it, or icon, not a widget. With Sense, you get these cool little green boxes that show you where you can actually move an icon, right? Where there's space available. So hold down, and then you can move it. Now, say I actually want to get rid of this. You just hold down to see how down at the bottom that's changed to remove. You just drag the icon or widget onto that space, and it will kill it. I'll show you here again with the messages icon. Hold down, drag it to the bottom, it turns red, and it's gone. You can do the same thing with widgets, right? They move exactly the same way, they delete exactly the same way. You get the same green spot so you know where you can put it, so you can't put it down there on top of those other icons. And if you want to kill it, you drag it to the bottom until it turns red. But I like the clock, so we'll leave it up there. All right, let's see. Let's dive back. There's the leap feature. It lets you jump from one home screen to another. You can only do that in sense. So let's add a widget. There are a couple ways to do it. One is by pushing that little plus button. And now you have a list of things that you can add to the home screen. You have widgets, apps, shortcuts, or folders. So let's add a widget. Say we want to add, I don't know, look at all these. Uh, some of these are here by default. Some come with other apps. Let's load up the Android Central widget. There we go. And that's all you have to do. And then you can move it around on the screen just like all the others, right? So you have your green box that shows where you can put it. And I'll just dump it here in the middle. Another way to add a widget is to hold down on the home screen. Same thing as pushing the plus button. So let's add an icon to an app. Let's add the icon to barcode scanner, right? And here we'll do it again so you can see it. And push the plus button, see, you get the exact same effect. So they all add apps or widgets or whatever you want. Uh, we'll add the calculator and there you get the icon. And once it's there, you just tap it and it opens it right up. Very handy, very nice. All right, let's slide back over here. Again, that's how you kill it. I'll kill that. And let's add, say, a shortcut. So you have all these. You can do a bookmark. If you want to put a bookmark to a page directly on your home page, you can. Cool. You can do contacts. I use them to call people. You can do folders, right? Very nice. Now let's go all the way back, and there you go. That's the difference between an app and a widget on Android phones. See you, everybody.